Hello coders, welcome back to the channel. This is Van Amsen and we are on day eight of our 30 day lead code JavaScript challenge. Today problem is called allow one function call. It's numbered as 2666. This problem is going to give you a closer look at how closers work in JavaScript. So if you want to level up your programming skills, don't forget to hit the like button and let's dive right in. So the task uh, for today's challenge is to return a new function that behaves exactly like a given function, but ensures that the function is called at most once. The first time a returned a function is called, it should return the same result as the original function. Uh, but if you call it again, it should return undefined. Uh, sound interesting, right? Uh, let's uh, look at provided code. So uh, lead code give us uh, some code. Here we have the function. Once that uh, takes another function, a pen, uh, as an argument and returns a new function. So new function. Uh, inside a returned function, we have access to all the arguments of the original function fn through args. So far, so good, but we need to uh, add some logic to make sure fn is called only once. So here's how we're going to uh, do. So we need uh, some uh, helping uh, variable. So what's uh, happening here? So we are introducing uh, a flag has been called. Uh, initially has been called is false because it uh, has not been called. Uh, and inside the return function, we check if fn has been called before. If not, we call fn, store the result in the result, and then set has been called to true. If fn has been called, we just return result, which will be undefined. So let's result the function fn will be called only if hasn't been called before. If has been called, we call the function and store the result. Result fn. We then set our flag to true indicating that the function has been called has been called true and finally we result the result of the function called or undefined yeah if it hasn't been called before return result and yeah there you have it. So uh, yeah, so for example, if we have a first case, it should be called only once. So let's run our code. Yes, and it is accepted. Awesome. So as you can see in this example, once fn is uh, uh, called, is uh, a new function, so once fn, that behaves exactly like fn. Uh, yeah, but ensures fn is called only once. Uh, the first call to fn returns uh, six in case one. Uh, just like fn, the second call to uh, once fn returns undefined because fn was not called uh, again. So yeah, let's now submit 
the task for unseen test cases. Hopefully it will pass. So yeah, it has passed and beats 54% runtime and memory 9%. So yeah. So that's all for today's challenge. I hope you find this tutorial uh, helpful. Make sure to practice this concept as it's a, a, a basic uh, concept in JavaScript and will definitely make your, uh, you a better uh, programmer. If you have any question, feel free to drop them in the comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for rest of our 30 day lead code JavaScript challenge and happy coding everyone. And this is Van Amsen signing off. Until next time, keep learning and keep coding.